there's going to be more and more things sort of like getting put on to web three. And so if you're a mechanic, it's only a matter of time before you're going to be able to like take a mechanic, like, like, um, like, like, you know, think like a classroom, but instead of a website, it's like a metaverse, you know, like you log into the Roblox, you log into the voxels or whatever. And you like, you can see the car, you know what I mean? Or if, if you're into like, you know, whatever, whatever you're into, you know what I mean? That's like not tech related. Um, you know, if you're into like crochet, you know, like knitting, there's going to be some metaverse and the metaverse is going to be this museum of like how to crochet every design in the world. And you don't ever use the internet, but you're going to use the metaverse and you're going to be like, like either looking at the screen or yeah, we like walking around like over here to this room, like 1800s crochet pattern. And you're going to like plop your avatar there and you're going to like watch all these like crochet patterns <laughs> while you're watching it in real life. Um, yeah, you'll find value. Yeah, I mean, that, that, I, I mean, that is like the prophecy of what's going to happen. You know, everyone's going to find what they love, you know, on the internet. And, and we've already got some of this shifting happening now, maybe not with hobbies, but you've got, I just opened it up, University of Nicosia, and I think it's Punk 6529 you know, holding NFT courses, university courses in the metaverse and then giving you your, your whether it's a POAP or your NFT as, a, as proof of completion. You know, we're going to have a whole generation that doesn't go to university that's going to cost them an arm and a leg, but finds equal, sometimes better courses through remote things and through metaverse things. It's, it's happening and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's 100%. They're, they're going to have to... They're gonna have to come and buy NFT ETH off me. <laughs> yeah. Cool, gentlemen. Well, this has been a great conversation. Really love this. I mean, uh, yeah, fun. we could talk. We could talk offline or or whatever. But you know, like I said, I'm I'm getting back into it, trying to figure out, you know, how, how do we do shows? Like, what's the format of doing shows? Trying to get inspired by other people you know who are who are running shows uh on on youtube and um yeah i mean this this i think i, I mean this, just the conversation is like really strong and being able to you know pull up um yeah like we were talking about being able to pull up the visuals and like and like being able to pull up anybody into the room too like we can get up to 10 people right on on stream oh that'd be awesome so we, i know right like 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 yeah, any event, event every event we could get like 10 people in here and then um you know like just really like tearing it up you know like bringing information pete to people and breaking things down and i i think it's great i can see you and so like it's easier to see like you know when people are gonna jump in or it's like you know listening to like you move you know what i mean it's like body language <laughs> is just a lot of fun but no, this is yeah. very fun. Uh, I think that that yeah. that hour and forty minutes really flew by, and uh, I know you want to do this more often. I'd like to to make time to, to get on here uh, a couple times a week with you. I'd like to make it kind of a regular thing. It's just uh, finding that these first couple weeks, trying to find the schedule for it, is going to be where where I have to figure that out. I do have a few things with Domain You're Plug and a few few nights of uh, phone calls to a few other people and then i got a six month old daughter that i'm still learning her hours of the night and then uh i got a full-time job in the morning yeah yeah and that's just it Tori. and time flies the six months have flown by I, I remember hopping on twitter like the day she was born and i was like i'm a dad <laughs> and they were all my all my daddy friends that. i think congrats. i remember that yeah yeah man it was just six months ago it's crazy how the time wow. flies and now wow, she's that's cool now she's big enough to come and sit here with me and it's just it's flying by so i'm trying to I'm trying to make my time for the web3 stuff and, and stay committed here while also you know doing my responsibilities as dad and and fiance and just uh fiance husband however you want to call it <laughs> but all of, yeah. all above. yep so i just I, I got a lot that i'm trying to do but uh you know you can't you can't complain about being hungry and then complain when you're when your plate is full and that, that's the way i look at it so i'm trying to really dive into the things i'm interested in and this is it's crazy it was perfect timing because i was just thinking i was like man i wish like i wish i did something like this and then part of it's just showing the face a lot of people you know the the uh, not anonymous part of uh 
what, what we've done so far and it's cool i think there's a strength in it i think most people see me that's why i avoided it people see me and be like man you're 16 like you don't know nothing like i know i look 16 <laughs> but yeah yeah, yeah so so that, that's pros part and of cons. it yeah there's pros and cons and it's like not not people not seeing your your you know your actual face as opposed to an avatar but yeah. that, that's also been obviously my strategy you know just not caring about you know making a mistake and uh just having a web two profession and just carrying that over into web three and you know building you know just building trust right it's like I, right. I have a i'm a real person and i'm you know not here to scam anybody right because i can't like change who i am that's exactly it usually you know if you don't people are like well why can't you show your face unless like you're up to some shady activity and it's why you know, i wanted to show my face on twitter a while ago but then it was just kind of fun not to and then there was still strength in it because there are a few people that you know people just judge when they see you and they'll they'll find a way to e either be like oh don't he he looks like this or or uh, you know they'll discredit you in a weird way like there's no way i, I can't lie so if a, somebody that looked like he was 12 walked up and i know i don't look like i'm 12 but i'm saying if a 12 year old <laughs> came up to me with financial advice i'm like kid go play on the slide <laughs> then, all, all, all you need is a blazer all you need is a blazer <laughs> a, 12, a 12 year old with a blazer People I might listen. <laughs> I might yeah, listen. Twelve-year-old no blazer. It's like get out of here, kid. Twelve-year-old with a blazer. It's like, well, what do you do for work? Twelve-year-old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So it, it, it's cool, but that's why I want to just come on here and do it, man. I appreciate you for inviting me on because this was very fun and it's something I'd like to do a lot more of. Yeah, I think that um, we're also coming out of what is a history in crypto of saying, you know, I need to be private. I, I need to keep my identity private and and a lot of us uh, are coming to terms with the fact that not only is your dot ETH showing your wallet uh, but you're now able to come out and you're you're getting to do these IRL events and it's hard and even the people that came in 2020 2021 uh, they got told don't show yourself it's risky so I think we're all finding our voice and I'm finding my voice and in, in how I want to show up what I want to say and now I'm showing my face and, and that's, uh, that's uncomfortable, <laughs> but, uh, it's all good things. And I think we're in the right industry and I think we're on to the right things. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, the show, you know, bring it back to show. It's just, you know, I mean, it's, it's weird because I got, I, I was like, Oh, I've been thinking about it for like weeks. I was like, no, I've been thinking about it for months. No, I've been thinking about it for years. No, I've, I've been thinking about bringing the show back since the day the, the day I did the last show, right? Because I just I wanted to do a show every day, and I just put it off after you know weeks and putting it off for months and I guess putting it off for years, and just with the building and just everything happening and just I just oh I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go live, you know what I mean? So yesterday it was just I just went live and invited whoever was up and you know today just going live and inviting whoever's up and. You know, it's just having these conversations, you know, and just having these conversations and uh, and connecting with people. Um, but yeah, but I want to figure out the formula so it's like consistent, you know, and, and we could build something. But yeah, one one day at a time, we'll figure it out. We'll get some feedback. Most definitely, most definitely. I, I would call it a success, man. I think that the, the hour 45 flew by. I had some fun. Uh, it got me in the loop with a few things. And, you know, I missed the, the ENS show that I was very, very upset that I missed. And I feel like I at least got a piece of it. And you kind of brought me up to speed. And I'm sure people that watch this back and maybe once I made it here live, that they feel the same. And especially the ones that don't even know what ENS is. Go go find out what ENS is. Hop on Twitter. Type in .eth and, and see what pops up. You'll see. Check, out, check out the main plug. Check out the main plug. Yeah, yeah. See, we need to hire this guy. They need to. They need to switch our spots. <laughs> he put the plug in the thing. He keeps plugging the plug. Yeah, that sounds funny. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah, the plug was cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. gonna go. Get it. You guys gotta go. Mint. Are you guys gonna mint any of those NFTs? I'm gonna go and check it out. Uh, it's it's getting a little late for me. I gotta get ready for the, yeah, the yeah, old you have, work you have, day you have, in the morning. You have, like, you have like seven days or something. So like no or, or no rush or anything. Yeah, I'm gonna but, get a hat too. I'm gonna go and give myself a hat. Yeah. That way I can be on the show with, with you instead of wearing a Browns hat. You know, that, <laughs> yeah. That's not that's not very very winter like. <laughs> right. All right. Well, excellent, gents. Well, we'll we'll reach out again and we'll do this again and uh, yeah. Until next time. All right. Thanks, you guys Gary. Have a great night. Thank All you. Right, talk to you guys later. You say great man. Bye. See ya. Money. I get that money.
I get that money, yeah, I get that money. I get that money, yeah, I get that money. You, take, you can't take it from me, but it can get early. Don't play with my money.